thank you so much for taking your time today for sharing your stories. I heard what I would have, you know, said was an aluminum table collapsing, and then I heard some screaming. The shooter hunted the children. The teachers very quickly grabbed children and just said, get back, get back. This heat of explosion hit my face, the most searing pain I've ever experienced. There's glass breaking everywhere, there's papers flying. It's a war zone. And I realized like I've been shot in the face. I was hospitalized for two months afterwards. Oh my God. I'll deal with lead poisoning for the rest of my life. I had to learn how to walk again. When another mass shooting happens, our wound opens up again. I'm scared when I go out. Still, I'm scared it could happen to me again. Nowhere is safe. It could happen to anyone. Going to a child's funeral after something like that is something nobody should have to do. You can look at the statistics from 1994 to 2004, then look at it the next 10 years, 2004 to 2014. The law expires, suddenly people can go purchase these weapons of war. The difference is horrendous. I decided to get active with March 4th as they have the most obvious and actionable messaging when it comes to this issue to limit the access of assault rifles. We want our children and our families to be safe. We want safer gun laws. We can't give up. We have to keep being loud. We're all united on this as Americans who want a safer country and walk out of our house feeling safe. We are not free as long as weapons of war are allowed in the hands of untrained, unchecked citizens. We are not free if our children are forced to practice lockdown drills at school and at church. What am I doing if I'm not using my voice for exactly this. We are a nation that values life, so let's act like it.